Hey everybody, so I'm just going to uh, talk for a few minutes, and this is for both Java and Kotlin, about what to do with error messages. Um, you know, plugging stuff into Google is not a bad strategy frequently when you encounter an error message in your code. Uh, but there's other options, other places to search, and I'm just going to provide a couple of hints and strategies about how to effectively search error messages. So I just ran the grading task, which we don't want you to do. Please run the test suites. The information is more useful. But I ran the grading task and I had this problem, right? I don't understand what to do about it. So I cut and pasted it and I threw it into Google. And here's my results. Uh, not a lot going on here, right? There are not very many results. Uh, the top one is like a page for the class. Um, and this is not very helpful. Now, so that's actually one of the first things that you need to think about. And this is true like whenever you're working on a project, right? Is, is anyone else on the internet, has anyone had this problem before, right? Am I expecting that other people in the world have encountered this problem and have posted about it in a way that I would find using a search engine like Google? And the answer in this case is no, because you know we use the forum, the forum is not indexed by Google, and in general, this is a problem that's very specific to the project you're working on. Look what's in here. I have a package name that is namespaced to CS124. It actually has an academic year in it too. Um, and, and in general, there is, this is one of the mistakes people make when they actually uh, try to search for error messages. There's too much specific information in here, right? Even if I wanted to figure out a little bit more about what the problem was, I can't include stuff like this that's very specific to the class. That's going to mean I'm not going to get very many hits. Um, stuff like this that's very specific to my code. It's possible that somebody else who's working on the MP might have encountered this error, but in a different place in their code, right? And so if I'm trying to understand like what is a com.google.com.truth.comparison failure with facts, that's probably the thing that, that I can search for. And, and let's try that actually. I didn't, I didn't do this ahead of time, so who knows what's about to happen, um, you know, and, and now, you know, I'm, I'm getting, like, I'm getting closer, this is the, the GitHub page, it's still not super helpful, to be honest, um, but, okay, so what's my other option here, right, my, and, and so the first strategy is, think about, where should I search for this, should I search on, the cat is ready for dinner, should I search on Google, is this a problem that I expect that other people might have had? Or should I search on the course forum, right? So let's let's search on the course forum here. Um, and I'm just going to search for this part. And you'll see, and I'm seeing some things that you won't be able to see because there's some course staff posts and other things here. But in general, you know, this will frequently turn up more useful things. Now, it doesn't always turn up as much as we would like because when you post on the forum frequently, when you post screenshots, it's not that helpful to other students because that information can't be indexed, right? So if you go here, this is a, a post that, that uh, Resong made. Um, and the problem was that, you know, people have posted screenshots of their code rather than, you know, actual, you know, in, information about things, right? Um, and so, you know, you, you can post a screenshot, that's okay, but it's actually really helpful as, as this person did, thank you, to put some information in the post that helps us uh, index the forum better and helps other people find this information later, right? You know, if you just keep posting screenshots, that information is kind of hidden away and it's not able, uh, you know, the, the, the forum that we use can't like troll through those screenshots and pull out the text. It probably could actually, maybe there's a plugin that we should install to do that. Uh, but right now we, we're not able to do that. So, you know, you guys are great at using the internet to find information. I am not the person to teach you how to do that. I think you're learning on your own. It is a skill though. You do get better at it. You know, I'm, I am going to say that over the 10, 20 years that I've been programming, I've gotten better and better at looking things up and it does really help. Uh, you know, the nice thing about the internet is all, there's all this like low level knowledge that you no longer have to remember. You just kind of have to remember how to look it up. And it actually really hopefully creates more space in your brain for higher level thinking about how to solve problems because you don't always have to remember every little nitpicky detail of every library you use and, and things like that, right? So it should really be a, a major boost, right, for our productivity and our ability to be creative. But when you're looking for things, you know, figure out, is this a general problem that I would expect to be able to find help on the internet or should I look on the course forum? 
Um, and then try to figure out what part of the error message you're actually going to use to, to do your search. When you use too much, it's typically too specific. It's not going to find very many matches. Uh, if you use too little, it can get too general. And then you find too many things. Like if you Google null pointer exception, you're going to find all sorts of information. Some of it might be useful, but very little of it might be useful to your specific circumstances. Okay, I better stop this video and feed the cat, otherwise she's going to get aggressive. Uh, but um, hopefully that helps a little bit.